I have a bunch of questions here. I think I forgot to uh, take some off my list. I think that maybe we've done before, but can you remind me? Have uh, I asked you about how many dicks you have to suck before you're gay? No. No? Have I asked you how much of what sex acts do you have to do to be a true slut? No. Nope. I haven't asked that one either? No. Have I asked you how really fat people have sex with each other? Nope. Hmm. Well, we have a bunch of questions that we could go Beautiful. through. Beautiful. That's good. I thought, I... I thought I used a lot of these already. No, those are those are all fresh. I have a list of these questions on my phone, and these pop into my head at different times of the day. Often, like, as I'm trying to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> you just groggily grab your phone, tippy-tappy type. Yeah, this is what I, I think about. Um, Hello, everybody. Hi, I'm Welcome. Max Moosman. Welcome to the Dirty Folk Podcast. I'm Harper the Fox. Welcome to the Dirty Folk Podcast. This is our worst intro. Uh, what is it normally? Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome yeah. to the Dirty Folk Podcast. <laughs> I'm Max Mooseman, joined by my lovely wife, Har wife Harper the Fox. That's me. There we go. We did yeah, it. Yeah, you better fucking call me lovely. Piece of shit. <laughs> Why are you so aggressive right now? So you forgot to call me lovely. When? In our first shitty intro. Oh, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake yourself. <laughs> get over it, woman. You get over it um thanks for listening glad you're here uh i'm gonna ask harper a question one I'm, of those is it gonna be one of those let's see i'm ready okay say you're curious about eating shit for sexual gratification okay i'll say that yeah <laughs> i'm curious about eating shit for sexual gratification okay, like you're not sure right it's like how some people aren't sure that they're gay Mm -hmm. so then like they go like suck a dick or eat a pussy depending mm -hmm. on where their starting point is mm -hmm. uh and they see right yeah and like and let's say that you're gonna find out you know you're gonna be destined to find out that like you're not into it i know i'm gonna be destined to find out i'm not yeah like in, just for the sake of the question like you don't know in right. advance or you wouldn't do it right oh, but okay okay your fate is that you're not gotcha. going to you're, you're not gonna be into it yes so is eating shit once for sexual gratification more like being in a bad car wreck where you like don't actually get injured? You just like really shook it up and afraid, right? Mm -hmm. Like you roll a bunch of times, stuff like that. It's really terrifying. You think you're going to die. Uh, or is it more like losing a limb where your functioning mm. fundamentally has changed for the rest of your life? Ooh, okay. Because it's a big risk, right? If, if you think you might be into shit. Yeah. I asked this because th this one I know when I wrote this one because uh, an acquaintance of ours, uh, I think we've talked about this before, <laughs> professionally shit in somebody's mouth. Yup. <laughs> For... <laughs> I can't even think about it without dying. <laughs> they didn't just shit in somebody's mouth. They did it. <laughs> it was a job. Yup. It was a job. And what was the price tag on that? It was like, wasn't it like, like 180 bucks? 140 bucks or something like that? Yeah, I'm it was. pretty sure it was 140. It was less than $200 <laughs> for hours of time where this dude had like custom meal requests and they were just like hanging out, waiting for her to feel like she had to go. So she had to like talk to him too. Yeah. And she had to like, you know, pinch it off so he could keep up yep. with eating it, right? So you're going to be that guy. You you think this is you, mm -hmm. right? And you're going to try this. Mm -hmm. And the second the shit, you second you get your first bite down, you just, I've made a huge mistake. Yeah. Like, wh what does this do to you in your life? Yeah. Okay. So the the part of me that's like fucking... Like, sex positive, be understanding of everybody. That little voice wants to say the first one that it's it's like being in a car wreck. This but isn't about sex positive. This is about you, though. Right. The overwhelming voice in, like, my gut yeah. says it's like losing a limb. You are never the same. You are always the person who thought it would be fun to eat a piece of human shit and that it would get your rocks off. <laughs> <laughs> okay and how does that translate like what can't you do anymore 
Because if you lose a limb, like your the, the first, fundamental function is, is right. changed. Like you, you, like you don't walk the same, or you don't like you can't grab your coffee the same. Or... The first thing that occurs to me is that anytime you are ordering food in a restaurant or like snacks from a counter, yeah, you do it with a sense of shame that you know what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> so you think if, if I could put words in your mouth here, uh, you think that like. Like if you lost like a leg that like, you know, you never like walk the same. You have a prosthetic or you're constantly reminded of it. Mm -hmm. It's every meal is a reminder. You can't eat the same anymore because mm -hmm. everything that goes in your mouth like you goes remember. in the place where shit went. Yep. You remember that you deliberately guzzled human shit <laughs> and you thought it would make your wiener hard. <laughs> yeah. Or your pussy wet, respectively. <laughs> yeah, this is this is you. So pussy wet. Yeah, it's interesting that your your envisioning of trying this is a guzzle. <laughs> there... <laughs> that says something about what what your meal request would be. There <laughs> is an incredible Reddit story on this very topic. On guzzling human shit. Yes, uh, and specifically a man who thought he would be very into it. And realized, like, first mouthful in that he was not. Oh, you told me about this. And then was too polite to ask this lady to stop. So he kept eating. You think that's true? I think it's true. I tend to be a fairly trusting person. See, I trust but... the, the my story of the acquaintance mm -hmm. because I looked her in the eye when mm -hmm. she was telling me this. And she's just also... It just it it tracks. Yeah, like this is this is a lady who takes one hundred and forty dollars to spend an afternoon shitting in someone's mouth. I wonder I what, what it our says audience. About me, just in case she ever hears this, I like her a lot. Yeah, <laughs> she's real sweet. I wonder what the audience is envisioning right now when we say like this tracks with this human being. Like, what what do they think she looks like? Who do, who do they think she is? I don't know. But but I like her. Yeah. So I've I'm had not, a lovely time. I think this was a bad decision. <laughs> certainly for She's the amount of... She's done it multiple of, times, too. This is a repeat customer. <laughs> certainly for the amount of money, this is a bad call. Yeah. If I'm going to shit in somebody's mouth, I it's at least $1,000. That's like my worst day. I'm desperate. $1,000. I feel like if I'm going to shit in someone's mouth for an afternoon, I need to like own a reasonably nice car outright by the end of the day yeah i i, I basically agree with you like that like the thousand is not my like hooray for me <laughs> like the thousand is like my i can almost look myself in the eye in the mirror mm -hmm. <laughs> afterwards i guess i you know but as soon as i say it, i go i don't know i'm like fuck them what do i care because it's there's also like i don't know it, maybe it's something about me but there's something just hilarious about getting to shit in somebody's mouth <laughs> <laughs> like the amount of power in that mm -hmm. and just like it's funny like like i actually don't know if i would feel badly about myself if i was if i was the shit receiver i like i would hate myself for like i want to throw up just even thinking about it right now like i would hate myself forever the lowest of the low but if i'm shitting in somebody's mouth like yeah, maybe my price is lower than I think because I'm sort of like, like, I I think of it as something like, uh, you know, like you're walking on the street and you get to like, somehow you meet like a jackass type crew mm -hmm. and you don't have to like do any of the pain. You're just like a street person who's like walking down. So they let you like kick them in the nuts or something like that. Like, you don't have to pay me a lot to do that. That's just fucking like my lucky day. Right. Okay. So I think very differently about this. Okay. <laughs> it is absolutely worse to be the shit receiver, but it is still horrible to be the shit giver. And I think it's because for me, I'm engaging in an exchange with a person that I find just deeply disgusting. Like the person who wants my shit in their mouth isn't a person who I want to look in the eye or talk to you why would you look them in the eye i mean okay let me think if the, let's say there was a contraption where i just like 
sit on something that's like a toilet and I know there's a human face underneath waiting for waiting happily for my shit but I don't have to interact with the person I don't have to do shit well I do have to do shit uh hmm. I'm mostly afraid the amount of money is mostly about I'm afraid I'm being entrapped somehow like that I'm gonna be like robbed or that like someone's trying to get me like on film in a way to like accuse me of like um abusing like a homeless man or like a a, a retarded person or, <laughs> or something so it's like just that. like in the upfront contract that they have to between every mouthful yell this is consensual today's sponsor wants you to go fuck yourself and you should take that advice because you're gonna have a fucking fantastic time doing it our sponsor is of course the naughty little toy store dot com for all your sex toy and pleasure needs harper tell me what you found at the naughty little toy store.com well i found that they have prices lower than their competitors for the exact same fucking toys amazing there's toys for men there's toys for women i know a lot of you listening are men if you want to do something adventurous for your lady get her a toy from the naughty little toy store.com listeners of the dirty folk podcast get a special deal by entering code dirty folk at checkout you get upgraded to expedited shipping so you get to go fuck yourself faster thank you to the naughty little toy store.com for sponsoring the show <laughs> that makes it funnier <laughs> choo choo swallow <laughs> the little consulate chew <laughs> Yeah, all this stuff, like, the price goes up for the, like, I have to, like, hold it in so you can get it all down. Mm -hmm. That annoys me. Mm -hmm. Like, because I don't like my shits being interrupted. And no. my shits tend to come out, like, all one go. Yep. It, it is, like, giving birth. It's not, it's not like a sausage factory. Push, push, yeah. all at once. That's right. Those are my ideal shits, at least. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right? And then you look down and you're like shocked by the quantity. Yeah, that's the best. Yeah. That's I, I love being surprised. The absolute best. Um, so, yeah, like that would annoy me. That would make the price very expensive because now I feel like it's a job. Mm -hmm. But if it's just like I have to like dump a load in some fucking idiot's face. I don't know. Does it change if it's a, a man or a woman whose face you're shitting on? No, if I I have to... If I truly believe that they're pathetic enough to want this, I'm down to clap. <laughs> if I get a whiff of like duress or like uncertainty, like I don't want to mm -hmm. be there first. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But if like they're just this like rotten, pathetic fucking person who wants this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might do it for 50 bucks, honestly. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I didn't know that about myself before we started this, but it's like uh no, I'll I'll throw some things in the mix here. Okay. If there's jacking off involved, the price goes through the roof. Okay. Like, if you have to be present for the jacking off. Yeah, if they're naked, what if they're just hard? If, if they have pants on with mm -hmm. like some tight underwear, Mm -hmm. and i don't really have to be aware of it mm -hmm. like that's fine okay that doesn't bother me right no dirty talk no none of that mm -hmm. right so if it's sort of in the in line with a jackass style prank then i'm right there <laughs> if you, you want to get shit paid on at all? face do you have to get paid at all to shit on Steve-O's face? Yeah. Mm, probably not. Mm -hmm. Okay, this I'm learning about myself. If it's Steve-O, I'm probably down. Because <laughs> I have, like, when I imagine the person who wants to eat shit, I imagine someone that I just find deeply upsetting and truly disgusting. Yeah. And that I have to, like interact with this person and just knowing that like something involving me is getting that person off and that they're going to like remember it for their whole life like yeah i don't want to consent to that yeah but like but if it's steve-o and if he goes into it with a sort of devilish grin yeah and if he hates it yeah 
I guess it's better if they're if they're grossed out by it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. But anyway, for me though, to get back to the original question. Yes. Being on bottom of this thing. One, I can't imagine. It, it's hard for me to put myself in the headspace of someone who would want this. Like mm-hmm. a lot of things have occurred to me to like try or to like wonder if I'd be into it or wonder if it would like work for me or things like that. Mm-hmm. Like putting poop in my mouth. Not on that list. Not even close to that list it's just never now that being said when i try to put myself in a situation where i have to like go through this and think about this right Mm -hmm. a drunk enough younger me and a girl far enough out of my league Mm -hmm. i could have probably been pressured (laughs) (laughs) to take shit in your mouth not like a full squat over me thing, but to like eat a little bit of shit. Like if she was like turned on enough by it and like, like mm-hmm. if I'm already hard mm-hmm. and you know, there's just, I can just, I can imagine a, like a, sh- a the right she devil mm-hmm. convincing me to do it. Mm-hmm. And then I think in that perspective, I have enough built-in excuses that I can make it like a car wreck Mm -hmm. and not like losing a limb. It's like you didn't want it. You were pressured. You were coerced. She was crazy hot. Mm -hmm. She did all these other amazing things to me. Mm -hmm. That would be part of it too, right? There'd be some kind of exchange. Mm Mm-hmm. I guess, yeah, when you set this scenario up in my head, I imagine the, like, eat a little bit of her shit as, like, the the sort of passcode to unlock potential crazy shit that she's going to do to you. Yeah. And she could welch. Hmm. Well, not because she's doing the crazy shit to me while I'm eating the shit. Again, she could welch. Yeah. But I still, I don't think it's like losing a limb in that. For me, I don't think it's Mm -hmm. like losing a limb. I think it's more like the car wreck. Like, yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm nervous in situations again. I'm probably not that trusting anymore. I might rethink my life. I might have like some come to Jesus moments. Mm-hmm. There. I wonder if anyone's found Jesus after eating human shit. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> think it's so? a wide, wonderful world. There. <laughs> that has definitely happened. Do you think, as part of their faith, they have to confess like to people like, like, oh, and how did you find Jesus? Like, do you think they're that people in their church or their community know how they found Jesus or is it like a shameful secret? My guess is that it would be a shameful secret. Yeah, you can't, but it seems like being honest, like aren't you not supposed to lie? No, but like the person who was like a, a street crackhead eating ass for fucking $5 Uh and who got like a full turd in their mouth when the person farted and let a, let some shit slip and they realized they had to change their life. Like you don't tell all the details of that story. No, okay, none of that one. <laughs> but cuz you have other credible interesting stories. That could be a cool story without like I was I was on the streets. I was addicted to crack. Mm-hmm. I was like selling my body for money and I found like after one like in, interaction Like one time I sold my body and I finished and I, you know, I don't know. I saw a cracker on the side of the road that looked like Jesus. And Mm -hmm. I realized I had to change my life. Mm -hmm. You you see, you can tell a compelling story there, right? Uh But if your whole thing was like, I used to pay people to shit in my mouth. (laughs) Otherwise, I had a very normal life. Can you write the story of this person? Yeah. Like, how does someone find Jesus? In the midst of paying others to shit in their mouth. Well, I don't pretend to know the, the inner workings of how people find the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to just strike people at some moment. Jesus calls them home. <laughs> <laughs> just gazing up into a puckering butthole as that brown load is about to drop. <laughs> no, I'm thinking like you're like 10 swallows in. Like, oh, and you know just, what? it dawns on you that Jesus is real. <laughs> that he wants you to change your life. 
And do you think changing the shit eating is part of the life change? I would say that not eating human feces direct from the tap is a requirement of being a good Christian. Okay. I'm not didn't, a, didn't, I, I'm didn't not a Christian, so I'm not a professional on this one. I guess we'd have to ask a priest or a bishop or or a uh I don't want to be guest Catholic on the exclusive Dirty podcast. <laughs> a pastor of some kind, some kind of uh religious a, scholar. Yeah, somebody who does apologetics maybe to to tell us if eating shit from the tap cuz what if it's your wife? Can you eat your wife shit? What if it's not be... from the tap? <laughs> what if it's sat out for a while? Can you eat your shit your wife's shit in a cup and still have a good relationship with Christ? <laughs> asking for a friend uh oh, i think that'll do it we're, we're, that's a good place to wrap up we we'll leave our our listeners with that one to ponder and walk around wrap up that shit to go and eat it later <laughs> uh, uh if you like the show sign up for the email list at dirtyfolk.com we have some bonus content that comes out there every couple of weeks. Uh, sometimes bonus episodes, sometimes bonus pictures, love notes, that kind of thing. Um, and if you want to help the show stay alive, continue. If you want us, because uh, we have like you know bills and shit. We got life. We got a kid now. We got all this stuff going on. So uh, we want to keep doing the show. We'd love to do this for a living. We'd love to do this forever for you. If you'd like that to happen too, the best thing you can do to make it so is to tell people about the show. Share it. Encourage people to listen. Tell them you love it. Tell them why you love it. Tell them that there's no better sheet eating content in the world <laughs> than the Dirty Folk podcast. Get them on board. Uh, that's the best thing you can do for us so we can keep bringing the show to you for free. Uh, thank you to our sponsor. And thank you to my lovely wife, Harper the Fox. Thank you to Max Mooseman, and uh, remember to rate the show. Five stars. Yes, five stars. Wherever you can rate the show, rate it. Leave a positive review. Tell fantastic shit eating content. Yes. <laughs> uh, thanks for listening. We appreciate you a lot, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.